welcome back to Linda's Pantry. We've got another little mini grocery haul. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's pretty, it's, it's, um, it's sad that it's come down to this, but it's because I'm already prepared not to have to buy a ton. So today, um, uh, I had a few things outside of the grocery. So maybe we'll label this the shopping haul. Um, but I went to Fred Meyer first thing this morning and I, uh, I did a little bit of shopping. I needed some fresh lettuce. Um, I needed mozzarella for a, a butternut squash casserole that I have coming up. And um, they had it marked down, reduced tag. So it, it saved me, let's see. Does it say what it saved me? No. But it was only $2.59. These, these typically are um, like $3.99. So that was the bargain. I bought two of them because it's gonna make a big casserole. Okay, I bought uh, Duke's Mayonnaise. Digital coupon was $3.50, which $3.49, which is a great deal. I bought the light version. I like the regular version. So, you know, I got the romaine lettuce. That was, uh, okay, so I have to talk about this a little bit. I, I'm, I'm watching the prices just keep going up, up, up. Uh, a bundle of green onions is now, for five little onions, is now 99 cents. Um, a head of iceberg lettuce, which we're an iceberg lettuce country. I grew up next to an iceberg lettuce farm um, when I grew up up here. So um, anyways, a, a head of ice, pretty small little rinky dink head of iceberg lettuce, 250. What? Okay, I'm, I'm a little confused. Um, so this, this is romaine leaves and it was $2.99, $3. If you bought a head of romaine, you know, a head of romaine, it was $3. So I thought, well, I'll take the the work out of it and I'll just buy this. Um, I also bought uh, low moisture mozzarella because I'll use that as well. Um, they had ham on sale. So ham, a nice shank ham was on sale this week for 87 cents a pound. And do I need ham? I probably don't need ham right here or anywhere else, but <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't, I can't turn that bargain down at this point in time. You know what I mean? So I'm going to portion this out into small portions um, after I smoke it on the big green egg. I am going to put some smoke on it. It tastes wonderful when you do that. It's so good. So I'm going to put the smoke on it and, um, uh, and I've got... We'll see what's the best buy, best sell by date is 2.15. So I've got time to get that done. And they didn't have a limit on these. Um, I may or may not go back. And then the bone, of course, I will use for ham and bean. And by then, hopefully I will have used up and eaten all the ham and bean soup that I have out there that I jarred up. So if you didn't see that video, go search for it. It's so, it's so good. I needed a planner. This isn't the one I really, really wanted, but shoot, this was on sale for $4. And it's a day planner. It'll fit in my purse. And I can actually do important dates here on this page, like birthdays, that kind of thing, it, it, month by month. Um, it's got day by day, each day, what you know, what I have, and, and big enough that it's, uh, yeah. So like I said, it was it was on sale for $4.60, so I bought it. I'm gonna order a fancy dancy one, but this is gonna get me by for a minute. So, and it's for 2023. Um, so, okay, that was that. I bought, oh, I needed some dill pickle relish for tuna salad. Um, I also bought pumpkin, pumpkin's expensive. This was $2.39, what? And then of course this, Better Than Bullion, the Gourmet Collection. Gourmet Collection, this is the, oh, Culinary Collection, excuse me. This is the Smoky Chipotle. And today, you can probably see in the background, I've got a couple things setting up. I am making turkey chili. So I'm gonna be using this Chipotle, because I love Chipotle chili. So I'm gonna make turkey chili with home canned black beans, some kidney beans, it's gonna be wonderful. And I think I have kidney beans jarred up. Um, I might not have to use my canned goods. 
Uh, I also, I bought a pound of ground beef and this is 10% lean ground beef. I do like to have um, burger in a bowl or taco salad, but I think, um, I think I'm gonna do burger in a bowl, hence the lettuce, and I have tomatoes that I need to use up, and um, you can use pickle relish. Um, yeah, it's it's delicious. So again, there's there's that, and that'll be my lunches this part of my lunches this week, and probably dinner. I then went by the eggs, and I get you know I can get eggs from my friend Denny. He you know he, uh, he's happy to give me eggs. Anyways, um, but. I, these were um, marked down. They, the gal just slapped the tag on it, 99 cents. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna make deviled eggs this week. So I'm just, I'm just doing it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm gonna use these. Okay, Italian dressing, and this is for marinating uh, chicken breast. Um, I like to marinate chicken breast or pork loin. Um, if you're gonna do a pork loin, this is really good to marinate in. And then I did buy this one. This is cilantro lime. This is so good for chicken, oh my gosh, or pork, either one. But this is a fantastic organic marinade. And um, these dressings were $1.99, and this was on sale for $1.99. Big, huge bargain. You guys know that I drink this. It's the Diet um, Blackberry Sweet Tea. And so, meaning diet, it's flavored. Um, it's five calories a cup. So literally I go through two of these a week, but if you bought five, you got these for $1.49. They're regularly on sale. I can get them like three for $5 or $1.99 uh, a piece, but $1.49. So I bought the five, the other four are out in the fridge in the garage, which I've got to find room in one of these for dryers for this bad boy. And then I had to go past, uh, go to Home Depot. So I bought a Home Depot gift card, which gave me four times the rewards points, which I already had a bunch of rewards on my card. So after I left Fred Meyer, I went out and I got a dollar off a gallon. Um, and at the end of that, because I did some uh, extra driving this week for work, um, at the end of that, I saved $17. I would, if I would have paid full price for that gas, it would have been another $17, but I saved a dollar a gallon. I put 17 gallons in and poof and voila, it is done. So then I, I went to Home Depot to, to spend some money with my gift cards. Um, I needed a water filter for my refrigerator. It's telling me on the screen. And I needed a, this is a toilet flapper replacement valve or whatever it is. The thing that pops up when you flush. So I've got to, I've got to install that this morning or this afternoon. And um, yeah, so I had, I actually had, um, I'm a Pro Extra member. It's just like your Fred Meyer rewards card, only it's with Home Depot. And um, I actually, every spending threshold that you meet, you get paid back with money. And it's like a gift card on your phone um, in the store or uh, because every time I have a transaction there, it doesn't matter if it's a piece of, you know, a thing of gum, candy bar, it doesn't matter. I put my um, Pro Extra per phone number in, that's just my phone number, and at the register, and um, it adds up, right? So I had a $25 perk. So my $52 water filter, we'll just say, was uh, $25 off. So um, all in all, it wasn't a horrible shopping day. I ended up spending $100. $120, was that the total? I saved $35 overall at Freddy's. Um, let's see. It did not give me all my fuel points though. So I am gonna have to, yeah, I spent $129 with the $50 gift card. And this is what I got and some wine. Um, the wine is out, out in the garage too. So a couple bottles of wine and uh, yeah. That's it. It's spendy out there, guys. And it's not gonna get it's not gonna get any better. So I suggest wherever you can stock up and um, keep your pantry full and maybe learn a new skill, canning and stock up on canning supplies. If you can get canning jars or canning lids at a reasonable price. And I'm gonna tell you the uh, best price out there 
is with four jars, lids, and um, you, you, like this is a sleeve of 100. If you keep, whatever you've got in your freezer, you should have product or have the ability to can at least half of what's in your freezer if the power went out, you know what I mean, and you needed to do it, you should have that in backup as far as empty jars and lids available to you. So um, I do, and uh, I, I just think it's a good insurance policy, especially to where we're headed here in the near future. Anyway, 2023, I don't know. Anyway, we, it's, it's uncertain how this is going to go, but I'm going to hedge my bets with keeping my pantry stocked and shopping sales and being a smart shopper. Did I need a ham? No, I probably didn't, but I'm going to eat ham when I do want to eat it at 87 cents a pound instead of two or three dollars a pound. And I, all right, guys, enough of that. And I hope, tell me what, down below what, what big deals you got in your area and where you're from so we can kind of see the differences in pricing and how things are going in different areas of the country. All those comments in the comments below, I know a lot of people read them. I love to go through them and read them. So, um, yeah, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe because I've got a fantastic fantastic canning video. My next canning venture is what? Hold it. Um, cranberry juice. I got my steam juicer and I'm going to, to be canning cranberry juice concentrate. And it also will save me money and save from putting this plastic in a landfill. All that stuff, all those jars that we buy, it saves from putting cans in a landfill. I can't can pumpkin puree. I can do it in chunks though. But I can't do it in cans, so there's that. Anyway, all right, enough of that. And I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe using one of the things that's out here on the, um, the island. And uh, yeah, I got to get to work. <laughs>